Welcome back to Wear Wigs with me. Today I am wearing Azalea by Jim Tress, part of their Centress collection, and this color is $14.25. Let's get started. Azalea is a just kind of below the shoulders, straight, layered, low density style. This is a great mid-length summery style. The cap on Azalea is a hand-tied cap. It has a lace front, and these lace fronts that are part of the Centress collection are so amazing. It also has a double monofilament top. It has felt-covered ear tabs with metal stays. They provide great coverage. It has the felt-covered extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and then the only place, like I said it was a hand-tied cap. It is all hand-tied except for right above the nape. There's about five or so rows of wefts that have been sewn in to that hand-tied cap and it just allows it to lay very flat and it keeps it all going in one direction there in the back otherwise all of these hair fibers move so nicely around this cap I mean this top I didn't even steam this off my face when I first got it I thought I was gonna steam it off my face but then I just started wearing it and started messing with it and warming my hands up and your hands are amazing tools when it comes to styling your wigs just the heat and the oils kind of dirty your wigs up a little bit and that's a great styling tool sometimes if I think I want to steam a wig, I kind of play with it a little bit, unless I can just tell it's too heavy. I gotta steam this off my face. But this one is so light, and the hair fibers are so light that they respond very well and very quickly to these tools right here. But all the hair fibers just move so nicely around this cap. And that allows you to, to, if like you can do a low pony or you could just put the sides back or, you know, it allows you styling options too when you have a hand tied cap because you don't have to worry about wefts showing. The measurements for Azalea. The front is six and three quarters. Gives you a nice swoopy bang. And like I said, you can make this go any way you want to. The crown is nine inches and the nape is eight inches. Those are the three measurements that I found online. You can see my measurements. I have a seven and a half inch long face and my neck is about three inches. You can tell it's a little bit longer than 10 inches. It just hits me just past my shoulders. So depending on your face, face and neck measurements and then your head circumference will be a big um, factor in how, this, how long this hangs on you. The color I chose is 1425 and this is Jim Tress's Strawberry Blonde. It's more blonde than strawberry but there are definitely those strawberry hints. I have three colors from Jim Tress all part of that Centress collection. I have their 2610, and this has an ombre effect to it. It gets darker down at the bottom. And then I have their color 29, red. I got so many compliments with this 29. So these are three colors from Jim Tress, part of that Centress hair fiber collection. 2610, I'm wearing 1425, and this is color 29. all very beautiful colors. I think they have done a really nice job with all their colors. Let's talk about the hair fibers and the permatease for Azalea. There is zero permatease. This is a just low density, very natural feeling and looking wig. And the hair fibers are kind of the thinner, finer hair fibers. They're not frizzy, they're not fluffy. They hang very naturally and then all these layers just allow you to give it a little bit of style. Instead of it just hanging, boring against your head, it allows movement. I 
I love this style. This is a comb and go. It is easy, it is every day, but it can also be very classic. And I just think that this is an, a style and a shape that looks good on so many people. Let's do some comparisons because kind of my, when I first got into wigs, the mid-length wavy was my go-to. I loved it. It was the hair I had always wanted or super long, like Miles of Style or Blaze. But when I got Minka by John Renault and I just happened on it, I hadn't seen it or heard it. Leanne at the Beauty Nook does live wig sales and she happened to show it. And I was like, what is that? I want that. So I bought it from one of her lives. This is Minka by John Renault. And this was the first style that was like this kind of flippy layers and straight and just easy and comb and go. Minka has a lot more hair than Azalea does. And the hair fibers are a little bit heavier. There's also just more of them, but I do feel like they're just a little bit thicker of a hair fiber than Azalea is. Here's Azalea again. These are just, Azalea's hair fibers are just so soft and just very fine. These are very similar in style. Azalea is lower density, but they both have the mono top and then Minka is just the wefted cap. And this is 1425 and then Minka is 1426. So they're very similar. Okay, let me show you another one. This is Heartthrob by Main Attraction. It's the same kind of concept as Azalea. It's straight, it's just packed past the shoulders, it has those layers that give it great movement. Now, Heartthrob by Main Attraction is a totally basic cap. So there's no lace front, um, and it's just, it's just a basic cap, no monofilament at all. And this color is Creamsicle. So it's got a lot more of the strawberry color in it. Okay, I've got one more. Okay, now I've got on Statement Piece by Raquel Welt. And all of these styles can be ordered through Le Leanne at the Beauty Nook. Statement Piece was actually Statement Piece I had before Minka. But Statement Piece is that same kind of straight, layered, comb and go, very easy. It's a little bit longer and it's just a bigger wig. It's Raquel Welch. It doesn't have any permatease either, but it's a lace front mono part. It, to me, it's, it's the same kind of style, but it's just more. Raquel Welch wigs are always more. And this color is glazed strawberry and ooh, it's a pretty color. And it is also more strawberry than the 1425. But the 1425, I'm looking at it, it definitely has strawberry in it. It has more caramel and then um, some of those brighter blonde highlights. But okay, I have Azalea back on. So I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and fibers and permatease. My overall thoughts about Azalea, I love it. I think it's perfect for summer. It is on the longer side for kind of what I've been reaching for this summer because of the hair fibers, because of the lack of permatease and how low density it is, I think it's perfect. And this color is perfect. It's blonder than what I normally wear, but it's summery, it's bright, it's fun. It goes with all the summery colors that everyone is wearing. And I think it's perfect. I think it fits in to a summer wig wardrobe perfectly. Okay, so this has been Azalea by Jim Tress. This is part of their Centress collection, and this is the color 1425. A special thank you to Leanne at The Beauty Nook for sending this to me for my review and giving me the opportunity to review it on my channel. I love that I have three styles from that Centress collection so I can really compare and get a good feel for what these wigs feel like and how they wear. I've been super impressed. And this Azalea, I mean, I'm pretty attached to that Zinnia, but I gotta tell you, for summer, for just the comb and go aspect of this Azalea, this is kind of my favorite. I recommend it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I want to know if you have this wig, what you think about it. to you 
with another early morning little wig review here. I have on Centress's Azalea and I haven't done anything to it yet except run a comb through it and my fingers through it. This is so low density. I'm going to wear this today, but I, I was going to steam this off my face, which is why I thought I would do this quick video, but now I don't know. It. I was afraid it would be in my face too much, but already just having it on and running my fingers through it, it's kind of already staying where I want it to. This is no permatease, super lightweight hair fibers, really layered. And this is in that really pretty strawberry blonde. It's more blonde than strawberry, but it's a strawberry blonde. 1425 I think it is so anytime I get a style like this I compare it to Minka Minka is a lot more hair it's it's just thicker it's more hair so if you like Minka or heartthrob but you want lower density finer I mean this is just like baby fine hair but it's not fuzzy so we'll see how it wears like how it if it tangles but it is hot 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 in the Midwest today and I have an appointment and I have running around to do for work today so I'm gonna see how this does I mean look how like natural this is to have a wig grip on so I kind of think it just depends on the wig with these gym tress because like Lantana I don't have to wear a wig grip with but this one and Zinnia I do so I think it just might depend on the wig but great ear tabs felt covered and then it has those silicone strips in the front and back that you can adhere tape to so this is Azalea in the color 1425. I'll be doing a full review on it, but I want to wear this one for a little bit. I want to get this on here quick so you guys could see what this looks like. 